We're heading into week 12. It's time to set those fantasy lineups. I'm going to do a quick data dump on 12 players to help you set your lineups going forward. These players are trending up, and they're looking good going into this week. The first player we're going to talk about today is Michael Carter of the New York Jets. He's with Mike White. They're back together, and together he is averaging 7.8 targets per game, 19.2 PPR fantasy points per game, and 19.3 touches per game. Carter has the second easiest schedule among running backs going forward this season, so this looks good. Next running back we're going to be talking about is Kenneth Walker. As a starter, he's averaging 106 yards per game, 20.2 fantasy points per game, fifth most broken tackles among running backs, and he gets the Raiders, the 31st worst tackling unit in the NFL. So a good play going forward. And another running back here that's coming back from injury is James Conner. Since his return, he's getting an 88% snap share. He's getting a lot of workload, 17.3 touches per game, 16.1 points per game. And he's going to be playing against the Chargers, who's the 29th ranked run defense. Keeping it with the running backs here, we're going to be looking at Antonio Gibson. And with McKissick out on IR, his usage is going up with a 66% snap share, 21 touches, and running 60% of the routes. This is good. This looks like he's going to be valuable going forward, and that usage in the passing game makes him a trendy play for fantasy. Here's a running back that everybody should be starting week in, week out, without even having to double think about it. It's Travis ETN. As a starter this season, he's averaging 20.8 points per game, 21.5 touches per game, 120 yards a game. ETN is fifth in yards per touch. He's been efficient. A while back, I mentioned him as a buy low because he had a down week. That door shut. You're not going to be able to buy him on the low anymore. He is a full-fledged starter going forward and always has been. Another running back who's trending up here is Jeff Wilson of the Miami Dolphins. It's two games with them. Week 9, 16.2 fantasy points. Week 10, 22.3 fantasy points. He's averaging 108 yards per game with the Dolphins. Looking good here. Trending up. A guy you want to look into as a cheap get. Another guy who used to be a cheap get who should be rostered in every league is Zan Pacheco. In his last two games, he's averaging 95 total yards, 15.5 touches per game, third most in explosive runs. Remember, Clyde Edwards Alaire is now an IR, so we can now pigeonhole him into the touches going forward. This is a prime time for him to shine. And I like Pacheco going forward. If you need a wide receiver, look at Chris Godwin. His averages in the last five games, 64 yards per game, 14.5 PPR fantasy points per game, 10.6 targets per game. He ranks third in wide receiver usage during this time. The Bucks are trending up on offense. His touches are trending up. Touchdowns should be trending up as well. Chris Godwin is living up to his draft capital that we spent on him Earlier, it's starting to come on in the back half of the season. A tight end that we've been talking about on other videos, David Njoku, played 37% of the snaps in his return. Over the five healthy games that he's played, he has averaged 7.2 targets per game. He ranks fifth in tight end usage on the season. So when he's out there, he is getting targeted. He is getting the workload, and he faces the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Sixth worst Defense against the tight end on the season. Speaking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we're here to talk about Rashad White. Looks like he is going to be the feature back for the Bucks this week. Lanny Fournette's dealing with the hip injury. He's trying to be out there, but should be White's role for the week, getting most of the touches in his first NFL start. 22 touches, 107 yards, led all running backs with four explosive runs, and we are looking at him getting a bigger workload going forward. Should not be on waivers in any league, and if he is, shame on you. You should have already rostered him. Going on a wide receiver who's on the comeback, a veteran, and that's Keenan Allen. He's coming back from injury. He played in 66% of the snaps on his return. This usage led to eight targets and 12.4 PPR fantasy points. Justin Herbert is more accurate when he's on the field. Expect his usage to increase, and he's playing against Arizona, 20th ranked pass defense on the year. Traylon Burks is another wide receiver you need to look at here. Broke out last week. Team high, eight targets, 111 yards, seven catches. He does a very good job at beating man coverage. One thing to note, he did all this 
on playing just 50% of the snaps. So expect his snap share to only increase going forward. I have one more play for you for this week. And it's an easy one because news just broke out. Samaj P. Ryan is the starter for Cincy. Joe Mixon isn't going to be able to play due to a concussion. So slot him into the workload here. The Bengals love to use their starting running back. Samaji Piran should be getting a ton of touches this week. But those are 13 plays for this week. Just a quick data dump, really. Just going over some stats with you guys so you have a good feeling when you set your lineups on who is trending upwards. These aren't guarantees, but these are trends looking at the numbers. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Who are you trying to start this week? Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. I'm going to help you with waiver wire claims, stashes, trades, and everything else. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.